Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Sarah from sarahdesign.com and in our last video we brought in our welcome message and we created a smart object so that we could easily paste it right in just like this and it ends up at the perfect angle just like that. And it looks pretty good but what would make it better is if we added some texture to it. So one way we can do that is by bringing in a texture file and pasting it over top and using some functions in the layers palette to make it fit right in. So we're going to say file open navigate to the desktop where I have this texture image open that. We're going to select all edit copy. We can just close it. We don't need it anymore. Go back over here we'll hit edit paste it's right on top. We can drag it over and make sure it's covering the entire welcome word. Now it's a little hard to see, but if we turn down the opacity by just dragging over the top, you can just make sure that it's, it's covering all the areas. It looks alright. We'll turn the opacity back to 100. So see where it says normal right here? If you click on that, you get a bunch of choices. You want to go down to where it says screen. I'm going to hit screen. So now it, I don't know if you can see, but it has made the texture all white. So it's appearing over top of this image, but it also kept the shape of the square that it was. And we don't want that. So there's a trick we can do to mask this, and that's if, if you hover between these two layers hold down option you get an icon that looks like that click and it masked it inside of the smart object which was the word welcome so now you don't have that big square shape and you can go back in here and you can tweak this you can make it darker or a little bit lighter whatever you think looks natural you could even color this at this point if you wanted by going down to the effects you could hit color overlay, you could grab like a blue, hit OK. You'll notice that when you use the effects layer to add a color, this texture isn't visible anymore. So there's another way that you can keep that masking. What we're going to do is we're going to unmask it by holding option and clicking between so we can see that square again and then if you go down to the smart object layer and you hit command and click on the thumbnail it selects just the words you can go up to your texture layer and go down here in the palette where it says add layer mask it's like a little square with a circle in it click that and that makes a little masked area where it's just showing the part that's in the text. So that way you can still use your colors. You can turn them on and off. You could change this to pink if you want, but it still keeps the texture on it. There's other things you can do in your effects palette. You could pick a darker, darker pink. That looks a little bit more natural. You can play around with all the things that are going on over here, but you could also just leave it at that. And there you have it. Not too shabby. It's pretty easy to add that texture in, and it looks a lot more natural. I hope this was helpful to you. And as always, remember that you can go to saradesign.com and contact me with any ideas you have for other videos that you would need. You can also just comment in the bottom of the YouTube video if you're looking at this on YouTube. Um, I want to know what you will need to know. What kinds of things would you like to be taught? What kind of imagery would you find invaluable for your silhouette shop so that you can really stand out from the crowd? So thanks so much for coming and watching, and I will see you in the next video.